There's a remarkable verse in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 18 and 19, where we read, Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you seems to be wise in this age, let him become a fool that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, for it is written, he catches the wise in their own craftiness. And that's a quote from Job chapter 5 and verse 13. So the scripture says that people who think they're wise in this world are actually foolish as far as God is concerned, because God knows the whole story, and people make presuppositions that are not based on the revelation of God. Only God knows everything. And so when he speaks, he speaks with the authority of knowing all the facts. Men who think they're clever are making false assumptions and therefore come up with uh, false conclusions. And so he says, if you want to be wise, what you need to do is recognize that human wisdom is foolish and then turn to the wisdom of God. And when you do that, then you become wise in the wisdom that is provided by God. That's why the scripture says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When we take God seriously, then God reveals to us his truth, and we can be wiser than our teachers, says the psalmist. Well, this is a little story that happened to me when I was in high school. I was in high school in the mid-60s, halfway through the Vietnam War. So the Vietnam War went from about 1955 to 1975, and I went into ninth grade when I was uh, in 1964. Well, one of the sad consequences of the Vietnam War was that the soldiers brought back drugs from the Far East and introduced them into society. And I remember very specifically when drugs began to be circulated among the students in my high school. It was actually an Englishman, a young fellow from England who came over and he befriended a lot of the uh, shakers and movers on the high school campus. And what they didn't know was that the authorities were on top of things and had actually slipped a policeman in in the guise of a custodian. And the custodian caught all of these students, the mayor's son, uh, leading attorney's son, very significant people in the community. Their sons were captured in this snare through posing this uh, police officer as a custodian. Well, before that happened, this Englishman said to me one day, wanted to know if I wanted to buy some drugs from him. And I said, I, I'm happy enough without that stuff, thanks. And he said, Nicholson, you're a fool. All right, well, time goes by, um, graduate from high school. One day, a brother from our local church asked if I'd like to go with him down to the local jail to preach the gospel Sunday afternoon. And I agreed to do that. And uh, we got there and were taken into this room and in filed all of these convicts. And uh, sure enough, here's the young Englishman who's been captured for other drug dealing. And he sits through the gospel message. And at the end of the message, I was shaking hands with the men as they went by to go back to their cells. And he came up to me and he took my hand and he looked me in the eye and he said, do you know what I'm thinking right now? I said, I know what you're thinking. He said, what am I thinking? I said, you're thinking, who's the fool? He said, that's what I'm thinking. And so I quoted this verse to him. I said, if you'll figure out that you have been a fool, the scripture says the fool has said in his heart, no God. And if you figure out that you have been a fool, then you can become wise. Why, that's the whole point, isn't it? That once we come to realize that men by their wisdom did not know God, they please God by the foolishness of preaching. At least what men consider foolish, it's by this means that men become wise. 
when they accept what seems to be a foolish message uh, given to us in the gospel. And so I shared that with him that day. He went back to his cell to think about it. I trust that he put his trust in the Lord Jesus. But what a wonderful thing it is when we realize that God is writing the drama. Sometimes we miss out on opportunities. Perhaps I should have said more when I was in high school to this young man. But God has a wonderful way of bringing things around full circle. And here I had the opportunity of, for want of a better phrase, a captive audience, and was able to share the gospel. And this young man, obviously the Spirit of God was working in his heart. So be encouraged. Sometimes we may miss an opportunity. God doesn't miss things. And he has a wonderful way. He has agents everywhere and has a wonderful way of working out all things according to the counsel of his own will. So if you want to be wise, you have to discover that with merely human wisdom, human information, we're rather foolish. But when we recognize that, we can receive the wisdom of God and we can think God's thoughts. So God help us that we might not be fooled into thinking that the way to be clever is to think the way the world does, but to be wise by thinking the way God does.